And this is the Onyx Books Nova Air. And thank you very much to Books for sending me this out. I'm not gonna get to keep this one, but uh, they did send me this review copy just so I can have a look. And I was really excited to get this out of the box. And straight away you pick up the stylus and you've got a really nice writing feel and a really well designed device. Books have clearly thought long and hard about the type of experience that people want from an e-ink tablet. Their strap line is like a tablet, unlike any other tablet. So they're trying to give you everything that you might want from a tablet with the benefits of that e-ink screen. For me, this device, the Nova range, is really for people who love their e-ink reader, like their Kindle or their Nook, and they really just want to be able to use a stylus to make notations on their work. So I think this is a great alternative to any small e-reader. Trying to give you everything though that you might want and it is a full android experience on here they've redesigned the stylus so it feels really nice it's got this nice pointed nib and uh, it's like giving it like a good pen feels when you touch it onto paper and i really like features like the navigation ball which is always there when you're in any app on the whole device and you can get it quickly to settings or anything like that but that being said the android operating system if you've used and like me you always use an android phone then you'll be really used to the simple android home button back button and recent apps button as well on the one hand there's simple features that you'd expect from an e-ink tablet you've got notebooks and you can download books onto it but because this is a books device there's already loads of apps that they've actually optimized for use on the e-ink screen and you can get the google play store so you can get literally any android app to work on this tablet. And that's fantastic, but you do need to remember that many of those apps are totally not optimized for use on e-ink screens. They're working really hard to listen to the customers and think of the ones that they do want optimized. So for me, the thing that I'd really love to be able to use would be the Microsoft suite of apps on this e-ink tablet. At the minute, however, OneNote is just not an experience which is good enough to use, but I do know that uh, perhaps on other devices in the books range, this is already there and is working really well. I did get Google Play to run on this and it was a pretty painless experience. I would just say, follow the instructions that are out there. It does work. It appeared at first as if it wasn't registering the device with Google Play services, but in fact, it was just, I think, taking a moment to do in the background or in the cloud somewhere. And so it wasn't just that I restarted the device, but it was when I came back to the device maybe five minutes later and all the right certificates had uploaded in the background and now I was able to access Google Play. Because you can get all those different apps, you're not limited to one bookstore. And as I said, this device really would suit somebody who loves their Kindle, but wants that one extra feature. You can choose exactly which reading app you want from any of the reading apps that are available on Android. It's also got incredible features like screen share by Wi-Fi. It's also got a screen recorder and that is pretty darn good. So I'm really interested to see how this will fit into my workflow as a teacher. And the question for me about books is the note taking and the normal e-ink uses is, is really, really nice. There's something really lovely about this device, but is it trying to do a little bit too much? Many people do love the fact that their e-ink tablet of choice is a distraction-free environment and isn't a place where they can also get their emails and that they're constantly notified that something's updated in the background. The other feature that most books devices do come with is a background light and you can set it to two colors. It can be daytime light or nighttime reading light. So that is also really useful if you know you're going to need to read this device or use this device in darker situations, then having a background light is, is useful. It's not a feature which is in every e-ink device. It's also one of the few e-ink devices that have speakers and a microphone on it. But because of the size and the weight of it, this is a device that can be your bedtime reader or your beach reader. tagline is like a tablet unlike any other tablet and I can see exactly how that works but this is one that can go everywhere with you. I would really quite like there to be a kind of built-in tutorial to show you around the device when you log on but it can do so very much that uh, that probably would take some time 
And some of the features, for example, are there, but they're not necessarily as useful on this smaller form factor, like the split screen device. Maybe you want a bigger device for that. But uh, I cannot wait to do some more comparison videos. I'm gonna compare this to some other books devices when they come for me to check out. And I'm gonna compare this to Quirk Logic and Remarkable and of course, Supernote. So stay tuned for those. Thanks again to Books for sending this device out. I look forward to giving you more opinions coming soon.